What's up everybody? Welcome back to Cigars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review is going to be a review of a cigar that is a brand new to the market in the United States. It's only been out for a couple months or so, uh, but I am getting, was able to get it because the shop that I'm currently working at carries it. And that is the Bone Shaker and it is the Tombstone Edition. And this Tombstone Edition was created by A.J. Fernandez, uh, blended by him for the Bone Shaker line. And it is definitely a great cigar. I've had it, but we're going to go through it again with you. Uh, but like anyone who's ever had cigars knows that most of the A.J. Fernandez cigars out there are... It's like he has a Midas touch when it comes to cigars. He, he blends it, he creates it, and then they just sell like hot sellers. And I'm a big fan of the way he blends cigars. But with that said, we'll go ahead and we're going to go through the Bone Shaker. We'll be right back with the pre-draw. All right, everybody. Welcome back for the pre-draw of the new cigar for the Bone Shaker line. They do have... Uh, it is the tombstone, but they do have Bone Shaker. It has the Bone Shaker, the Bone Shaker Boneyard, the Bone Shaker Full Body Cast, which is really strong in your face. If you're not a full strength cigar person, it might not be what you're looking for. And then you got the tombstone, which I'm kind of rating in between the Full Body Cast and the Boneyard. It's kind of like in the middle. It's still got that uh, full strength profile, but it's not over the top. Uh, like the full body cast and a little bit of the information about the scar as you can see the wrapper is a really dark chocolate wrapper more of a milk chocolate there's hardly uh, any veins at all and you can see the seams are really tight it is a little bit not too toothy but a little bit of a toothiness to it it does have a slight spongy uh, profile to it and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull off this bottom band because you can't light that. I mean, you can, but I don't. And then I have used a straight cutter with this cigar. Now, yesterday I did do a punch, and I know guys have used a V cut. So it all just all depends on how you want uh, the cigar. And just a little real quick for those who ask the question of difference the punch uh, will be less space, obviously, less smoke and sometimes you won't get unraveling but the problem with the unraveling is if you take a straight cutter and you cut too deep so best rule of thumb is take the, the cutter lay it on, on on a counter take your cigar lay it on top and leave it on the counter flush and then when you snip it you just take off enough um, and then with the v-cut it cuts a deep channel so you get more smoke more profile it just again it all depends on what you do there are some old timers that bite the end of them other guys that'll flick off the cap with their thumb. It just, again, all depends. But I went ahead and did a straight cut. And with that, right off the bat, you get the... A little bit of a, a, of a cocoa profile. Not a sweet cocoa, but a cocoa profile. Kind of like a baker's cocoa. Um, the wrapper is... Uh, near, is Ecuadorian Sumatran. And the binder and filler both Nicaraguan. Uh, but definitely an interesting blend. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and light it up and get me back with the first third of the two tracks. All right, everybody, we're into the first third a few minutes. And I have to say, so far, a little bit of a tingle on the upper lip. More like a red pepper profile. Not overpowering bad, but you can definitely de taste that little bit of a spiciness. It's not bad. It's good. I like that. Some people don't. If you don't, maybe this is not for you. But my thing is try as many cigars as you can because you never know exactly what each cigar is. I thought I had a good idea what the, the tombstone was going to be, but so far I've been pleasantly surprised that it's not exactly what I thought. With that said, too, I am noticing a little bit of a leather profile. And there is a little bit of a sweetness on the back of the palate. Almost like a, a real light, subtle uh, caramel profile. Uh, but like I said, we just started. You can see I'm just into it. I'll be right back with... All right, everybody. Welcome back for the beginning of the second third of the Tombstone by Bone Shaker. Blended by A.J. Fernandez. 
As you can see, it is not burning straight. It'll, I'm gonna let it correct itself. You can touch it up if that's what you want. I was just noticing how long the ash will go, but it looks like the ash is gonna fall off after you go through the first third. Uh, it's not one of those that the ash will go way low as you've seen on some cigars. It doesn't make it a bad cigar, just some, something like that. A lot of cigar guys wanna see how far they can go. Uh, but with the second third starting, I'm gonna go ahead and knock that off. But in the second third, we're getting a little more of a black pepper profile. That red pepper that was tingling the lips is kind of mellowed out a little bit. The, the, uh, the strength of the cigar though has increased slightly. But again, I am not getting that caramel profile I got in the back of the palate now. More, like I said, mainly predominant is the leather and that black pepper profile. But so far, man, I gotta say, I am a fan. And from those who've watched my videos, they know that I am a huge fan of Nicaraguan tobaccos. Not that any of the other regions have bad tobaccos, but I just, seems like I, my profile likeness that I like the best are going to be the Nicaraguans with that volcanic soil mixture they have down there that gives it a, a little more of a kick, like a black pepper, red pepper, white pepper, you get that sometimes. And then that earthy and leatherness, uh, like sweet hay sometimes, but we get that. But I haven't noticed a lot of that in this. But I have to say, with uh, AJ blending this and putting uh, the Ecuadorian Sumatran wrapper on it versus a typical Nicaraguan wrapper on all the other bone shakers, you definitely see a difference in the profile. But it is so far a good stick. Uh, if you're in the Phoenix area and you're looking for the cigar, the only place in Phoenix that has it is going to be I Spy Cigar Club. Uh, which is in downtown Glendale. It's actually a historic downtown Glendale. We're two blocks south of uh, the city uh, hall and the police station and all that. We're right in, we're actually on the property of Desert Rose uh, Pub and Grill. It actually used to be their business as well. They had a cigar place here, but now it's I Spice Cigars Club in Glendale. If you haven't been down there, definitely come out and check them out. And the cigar runs between uh, 7 and $9. So it's not a bad price point. It's a really good cigar. But with that said, we'll keep going through this one. I'll be back with the final thirds of my final thoughts of the Bone Shaker Tombstone right after this. All right, all right, everybody, welcome back for the final third of a review of the Tombstone by Bone Shaker, blended by AJ Fernandez. In the final third, uh, you can see that the burn did correct itself a little bit. It's still a great cigar. In the final third, getting more of a coffee profile. Uh, not so bitter. It's a little bit of a bitterness, but not so much that it, it changes the flavor of the cigar. It's still a great cigar. That full strength pepper that I was getting and the second third is actually going way down. But I off, off, definitely would say that this cigar is definitely a, medi a full medium to a low full strength cigar. So if you want to try it, definitely go out and get one. And as always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and leave your comments. And have a great day. Have a great smoke. And I'll see you next time.